why you use your brother in the hood. Now, Roger this is a very, you know, very um, heartwarming, important video because my brother is one of the, you know, predominant figures in my life. But um, he's one of the figures that I know literally the up and down and when the world about to end. It's like Sonny Lily, how he got obsessed with the Godfather Lily, and how the Godfather is, you know, really important in life, but, you know, it's nothing to being athletic, and how the Godfather eventually got him killed. This is a prominent figure because I know that Lily, um, he has a great sense of solid, but he doesn't understand when solid drags on, and that eventually you have to drop solid, but for now, we remain solid, because you have to understand. I was working with one of the best pips and best bloods of all time, so Solid literally became futile. But nevertheless, this is the video of why. I always reference them every Christmas, every New Year's, every time we get gingerbread, every time we get the cozy feeling with my mom, like the days that he was dodging a gang when he was doing his days of Batman Beyond. Nigga, you don't know what I had to get into, Lily. You know how foods had to get in a fucking night fight, you try to fucking burn up fucking down with the Pirates of the Caribbean and shit. I had to allow him the fucking knife and then literally I had to distract him and then literally I had to throw the fucking knife after I did the after him was first when we both know how to fight, we both know how to enclose open nigga shit. Literally, every shit don't, you're not going through shit. This is the story of why I had to imitate him as soon as I got to Alpha Omega. So if you don't know, there's two parts of DV. It's the part where you went fall asleep, but there's the part where you end up in the hood. The first part is obvious because you double and pied and because you beat somebody literally when you are half the age and you recognize literally that you beat them when they are half the age because you did something that you felt literally that they did was unnecessary. So it's obvious, it's like literally a battle when you have the same tools, but what happens if we take the same tools away from you, what's the mentality gonna be, which is pretty retarded, if you ask me. Because literally, the first is all the mean. You ever watch a movie? The first is when you beat them in a movie. Literally, when you go to up and down, literally, to your princes, literally. When you learn from their mistakes, literally. When they were doing something that you would do when you were younger, and literally. And they didn't listen to stuff like that. So you got a victory, literally, with judges on paper. But let's take the judges away and let's just make this ghetto. Let's just make this literally a fight to death, literally. Um, all the complexities of where your girlfriend at, literally. Where there could be a gang, literally. And they agree and they allow them they can be a gang, literally. When there's me, literally, to where somebody's dead and being and fucking controlled by a blood gang. Son of a great ninja swords with the shit got me all the shit that I watch about. No fucking surprise to me, but I love my mom, Lily. So in the end, I made her Chi-Chi, so it didn't matter, Lily. In the hood, I already knew I matched her material and made her Chi-Chi. But in the hood, what they do is they spam you in high school. I'm like, duck, duck, done. You fell for it freshman year, Lily. It was nothing to me. It was absolutely nothing to me because I already had a better life in high school freshman year. Lily, if you do your extra research, I actually did better in high school than my brother. I'm not talking about Lily results. Lily, where it came to things dragging on, like, you know, um, sophomore and senior year, which is uh, academic and an educated criticism. But I'm talking about when it comes to overall performance, Lily, my brother was a ranked in something that was being popular. He was barely ranked in basketball. He was very, very good at basketball because he was varsity. And when it Takes you going to varsity. Varsity means that you met a standard. Not but you gotta production. think of it this way. I never had to go to night school. And literally, I was more popular where it came to the shit that hip hop bread about on paper, like fucking bitches wearing ass cologne, wearing a good outfit. Where it comes to those things, I destroyed my brother on paper where it came to literally fitting again because I was cool with all the Filipinos and all the turf dances like Kevin Tran. We must reference color in this video because the things that we aim for in the hood, color, color is the highest of a gangster I got our will. I had curly hair, literally. Got a bitch named Victoria, so what happened in high school was actually things dragged on. So in the hood, literally what I did was I told the lesbian cops to back off. Literally, this is freshman year here, literally. But since I understand that literally at an educated level, that things need to continue, that things can be consistent, and my mom's word is good for consistency, saying that if you slow down to get to know them, literally you will have more consistent results. So, you know, that's promise. So even though I could fall back at freshman year, I broke it down to them like this. Look, at educated manner, literally, when you're first asking a girl out and her friends support your statement and then they say that, cease to say yes, literally, you have to go by that educated standard. So in the hood, what I did was this, literally, I recognized the main thing that caused our autistic person's, you know, temper tantrums is not being able to affect matters. So in the hood, I imitate my brother because he comes from a cause that affect gang. My brother comes from a blood gang, but literally everything that my brother has to do literally comes with cause and effect and comes from affecting matter and nothing is more cause and effect than basketball. Always, you know, um, 
literally um, bouncing the ball, always literally using your IQ, always being on your toes, literally nothing is, you know, better than cause and effect. He had, you know, um, basketball on top of game member meetings. So literally, when it comes to correlation, literally, my brother has me down packed. So why do you imitate your brother in the hood? So what I did was I told him what happens to solid over time to people like, you know, country, to people like Alberto. Oh, your press is solid, literally ends in sexual harassment. I even literally did the thing, literally, when I was in eighth grade where I got Maria at my Valentine and how my brother was showing me how Alberto was doing this thing for breast cancer awareness. I'm like, ha, 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 your press is solid literally has to go up against Lily. Your friend literally admitting to me that literally that I'm getting hella fucking girls in school and I'm still not getting support. Solid is a big thing, so in the hood, I had to use him for cause and effects. What I do is I'll go out with my green hoodie, literally, I'll go with my girl asking Fernandez, literally. He had a visibility test, so what I'll do is literally, I'll put my arms, literally, keep my legs straight, literally, in a T symbol to see if we're both aligning. And then we went inside, literally, after getting high, literally, we watched a show called Jenny and Georgia for Courtney Summer School. So literally, where it comes to solid, I'm as solid as they come. But at the end of the day, it's time to praise my brother because of his cause and effect is the reason why we have this. Because what he does is he shows you literally how life is both had to miss you before you have an excuse to manipulate a human. You see, literally, during the rock, we end up, you know, doing this manipulation games. Like, literally, you know, we distract your mom, we do something, literally, which is required because, literally, um, the other boys back it up, we literally, somebody back you in a corner. So, of course, you have to do a distraction. And that's connected to literally when you grow up and how you can fuck morals and how you can play, you know, mind games, literally, and how you can take advantage of somebody who's still a human. He is when literally being your human is fair upon, like, yo, we playing this basketball, yeah, we're getting out of here, literally, I fucking love Deco, I fucking love country, literally, we all shot the basket at the same time. He I is literally when we don't have the misconception or we don't have the conception that humans are closer to monkeys, which is how, you know, I got over, which is how we get over as humans in society. And that's literally how you stop relying on hormones, how you stop relying on this and that. When you stop expecting too much from people is when you recognize that we are closer to animals and we are closer to beings. So what I'll do is I show them, yo, literally, we're not gonna do you no know, fucking no element shit. We gotta rock hella far, literally. We gotta throw the rocks, literally, cause we need to have, you know, cause and effect, literally. We gotta go down all the way to a fucking barbecue and we're gonna buy this fucking beef because we can't literally, you know, um, there's credit the fact that we were with the ship and we were doing the foundation company. All those fucking versus vows, literally, that comes from gang member knowledge, but not gang member training by applying it. But anyway, literally, or to make a cartoon, nine times out of ten, you recognize the creators of Crips and Blood anyway, because literally, they're a grown man and they're what you want to be when you're younger. So what they did was literally they tried to, you know, um, override, you know, a fact because what a blood does is they put facts with no emphasis and, you know, a crit thinks like that's Titanic. So what they do, they're dumb me up. Oh, look at how you were in athletes, you know, tease in the beginning. You don't have to be multidimensional like Matt. You don't have to dig like this, literally. Of course they slept with you. You had sleeves. So what they did was they used the outside your attack. Look at them ignoring Sonic. Look at them ignoring this, this, and that. Which isn't cool. Literally. So that means I never had to learn. I never had to try. And these are, you know, spoiled people, you know, alongside the other cops who are Beastie Boys. And the Beastie Boys are the ones who get in the most trouble. And Beastie Boys are crypt dominant. So I was with the Beastie Boys for the first two years and they make the pussy wet, so of course I get be tripped literally like a bud. I still have my fan base on the outside, I still have the radio, literally, and literally I put something on the radio, hurt myself on the radio, I hurt myself on TV a couple of times, I made sure I had a couple of checks written. But with no fucking, you know, um, time limit, with no due date in sight, literally, we have to roll a song, my nigga, literally, my brother wins my paper, because whether you were or were a celebrity, who's in the ghetto? So we all know this is fucking shit. <laughs> fucking Chris, Riz, he knows how to fucking make a beat, literally, there's no fucking test there, but of course he's a fucking celebrity, he knows how to make classical music like Madonna and shit, literally, so he's making Madonna music, well, not one fucking penny, where if you actually get your research, I recognize that as humans in society, we're a hold to a slavery contract, whether you have a job or not, a job is a part of slavery because literally they make sure that we have you know um stress and labor like my research of sex though literally why they don't let you fuck a bitch at will and why literally fucking um a black guy fucking a whole bunch of latinas is asking to go to jail and why they eventually manipulate that black guy literally make him buy hella jewelry literally and make him hella in debt where literally you're tired from literally fucking working literally a 12 hour shift and then you come off to your wife and then you can't pump correctly 
there's a slavery side society, so I skipped that slavery side and chose my own Catch-22, and I'm all like, yo, if we go hard doing the movies, if we make the Nod movies, if we do a scripting, and scripting is one thing that I kept away from the company, literally didn't stress, literally, the one thing that literally um, separates me from other, you know, rappers is the labor aspect. So if we work hard on a script, because the script is something you have to memorize over and over again, just like Frankie Beverly and Uncle Sonny, then we're working hard, literally, at the level of community college, because it's regarding animation, like Zebriani would have a script, the Rubriani will have a script. Then literally, we can literally fucking um go home, go eat dinner, literally, yeah, and make Big Mama production. jokes. Literally, would automatically get purple. Literally, like mix the cosplay. But literally, make sure not to stare at my boobs first. <laughs> but please make sure to pass the champagne. They hate it, the cops hate it. I'm supposed to let you get away with this purple wet alley? Lily, unspeakable, Lily. On the outside, it's fucking immature. Like, Lily, on the outside, me and her and Lily make a perfect couple. And that's the reason why when the lesbian cops, Lily, that aren't the Beastie Boys, tried to attack the outside, they didn't know that if they said things like, you know, nobody cares, this, this, and that, it was on top of us looking like a perfect couple, which is why they failed to attack on the outside. What my brother did and why he saved me in the hood is he stopped me from literally let them gang away with the simple mice and like, oh, literally, this, this, and that, you don't have to learn how to socialize, those guys are total fucking jerks. Well, they put emphasis on coordination, what's multidimensional, so you can't get over. <gasps> You're not getting this delicacy with fucking Chris, literally, fucking blue, blue, fucking blood, blood, everything's a fucking delicacy. Literally, with are anime, literally, with it's multidimensional on top of it. I'm talking about high school and where it comes to being athletic, so what I'll do is I'll always drink water and they'll get mad because they want me to eat junk food. I'm like, you can't expect me to be Bold in the ghetto, it's fucking crazy. And a lesbian cop could be another abusive girlfriend. So what my brother would do is he let me know literally that fucking solid is the actual thing, literally, because being a gangster is a cheerleader, you know where it comes to crime. Literally, and since I am the guy, since I was the guy, literally who hit behind E40, literally, that means in terms of being solid, me, Demo, Lily, Santi, and Babylon are on the same level, but you don't give me the right to say that, Lily, because what that is, is Lily, do I have my own house? Lily, am I sharing rent with somebody? Lily, fucking, am I really victorious, or is my mom the one paying the rent? Lily, you have to think about that, Lily. Oh, it's not happening, my nigga, so fuck all your fucking swag statements, fuck all this, this, and that, or Chris, you haven't fucked a girl, fuck this and that. He's the reason why you have cause and effect in the hood. Talking about this is the reason literally when you play a song literally when you first meet him brother you're 28 or not literally you're in your late 20s literally he's gonna be a one like oh nigga I've been this here those type of niggas with deco literally ever since I was way young literally you're way past go literally think about that fucking driving literally I'm on big 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 things since I was younger and you can't replace driving with a car literally like Daniela, who's a Salvadorian, who's worth a car, literally. So the things that got me here were things that are worth money that aren't actual money. So in the Hall of Fame, literally, I am damn near up there where it comes to Elvis. I was so old that I'd either watch the old movies instead of the playful movies because I learned that the old movies can teach you something. I was watching old movies with Courtney fucking 34-7. It ends up happening because I start making sense, I start making sense, Lily, and they try to get more and more in the fourth dimension, and then Lily, they lost their power over time, but you know, what makes it fucking prominent is that Lily, they were doubling pine to board, bruh, Lily, all that shit is immature, Lily, they all claim to be as an adult, ooh, I hear this famous rap on the radio, Ashley going out of the way to suck my dick, Lily, and you called out that they made me wait, that's some dangerous fucking shit. Because I learned to move on, Lily, lower my standards and cheat with blondes, Lily, and for you to come at me, Lily, with this shit was fucking heinous. You have to understand, my brother is here to say, where is their names? Lily, why are these names in the the cops? Who? Whereabouts? Lily. But you have to understand, Lily, my brother Lily gets to the point where, Lily, I had to break it down because they started to compare with the other people who are crazier, way fucking crazier to their mom. mom. Lily, I had to show it like this. I got by by recognizing how a human thinks and how a human is, you know, relatable to a primate. Oh, Lily, I don't give a fuck at Lily fucking, oh, your brain is overflowing, you have, you know, high blood pressure, this and that, all this fucking health facts to go into a human brain. Lily, you fucking do what you're doing in high school is fucking sick, my nigga. I don't want to hear any fucking excuse about it. And that's what Lily fucking, um, and they're saying that's rude. He's not being considerate of your feelings. And, you know, fucking, um, I'm telling you, Lily, it's not a good thing. Now, I did have one liars in the hood, like Steffi, how me and Steffi were talking about, you know, Dave Chappelle, but that's a whole nother class, and that's why I had to learn the complexity of myself over time, because Steffi was the nicest person to me, Lily, I was having all this great conversations with Steffi, Lily, talking about techno music, saying we post shit that fucking Chris doesn't know about, because Chris is still on that mafia shit, I don't believe in girls and guys, Lily, being fed, Lily, I'm sorry, dog, Lily, that's oblivious to me, but I could get by, Lily, if... 
clearly trying to say that you can't even get Steffi, but me and Steffi eventually ended up being sexual. So what they failed to realize is literally I had to take charge, I had to learn that I, I sorry to say this, literally gorilla in order to get by because literally a bigger person, a tall person, something will always get in the way. As far as my mom's criticism saying that literally slow down, literally it lets them get to know you when you're displaying enough. And I was already wrecking something, so when I was wrecking something, literally it defeated a purpose. So I'm like, if you try to attack the outside, that's on you. You could try to say that literally Telly literally agreed with my brother, but literally I was more popular than Telly. I did was I broke down the school system like, yo, fucking even though Lily, I did have a bad reputation junior high. Lily, in freshman I had clean slate, so what happens with all this criticism where it comes to let come to you. Lily, we were all competing at the same time, Lily, where it came to Walmart, and four big niggas got in the way, Lily. If you actually do the replay, which fucking NASA allows you to do the replay, Lily, fucking um, and also police have advanced technology to do the replay. Lily, she was going to ask me out, but Lily, your facial expression and everything, cause single motors are really, really big on because of facial expression, literally, see, at the end, something came in the way, so you want a competition fair and square, literally, and then you get outside by Seymour, literally, a senior year, but then senior year has a worse fucking, Seymour definitely has a worse sophomore, so, literally, there you go, there you have it, literally, so I cleared the board, but that doesn't stop them from fucking Christian, because what their family does is they have one-liners that literally fucking outweigh your whole statement when you go in the hood, and that's why you get sent to the hood, which is actually the exact opposite, because in reality, literally, you got repulsed, literally, you gave them Price as much change as they're adult and they were post you. Literally, so it doesn't matter. That's to make you fucking stupid and that's why they're dead. You get what I'm saying? But in reality, Lily, that's for them, Lily. So this is what the hood says about you. They told you the same thing every day. Lily, they told you the same thing every day. That's why they get to own you when dead. You see how that's you know fucking um a bad clear echo? That's why it's very complicated. Lily, so um my brother did, Lily, if I have a pastor, me and the pastor both listen to rap and Lily, so the pastor was a victim of domestic violence before. And literally, so when they try to get me a yellow, try to get me a douche, I'm like, sorry, think about the pastor. Don't be selfish, think about the pastor. The pastor's been showing love to me. He gave me a fucking pink belt, Lily, the reference why I didn't fan me. He's showing me extra love and giving me external validation on the outside. And his wife there fights in my backyard, you know, referencing my anime. And he's letting me date his daughters. So when it comes to a pastor, I'm pretty fucking solid. So when they do such things, I'm like, literally, I use Chris saying like, yo, Lily, this is somebody else's house. Because he's gonna fucking break down with all that shit that you were doing before with fucking senile and shit and why you have to meet a standard. So bottom line, Lily, Chris is a crib, Lily, Sean's the blood, and they both left me in the hood. My what I did is the strongest in the hood, and that's why it's very difficult. So the main point of why I use my brother literally in the hood is cause and effect and let you know, yo, this is something that reciprocates, like literally, what are you doing? Are you watching literally cartoons? Are you watching a movie? Literally, I'm not just watching a movie, I'm watching football, I'm doing all this shit. I applied everything that I learned before and say solid, 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 literally, get the fuck away from me. And if you are trying to be my best friend, my little cuddly buddy, literally, then where's the material? Literally, where's the fancy shit at? I kept my side consistent of the story by being Chris for driving, literally saying that I didn't do shit because what you did was you put me in a situation where I was prepared to be a grown man and out having checks written for me, literally to me not doing shit and I'm almost dirty, literally, I am not literally receiving this shit. Literally, while I leave somewhere, literally clean somebody's my wife, literally I make sure she's obsessed with me along with all the other kids in junior high, I make sure I already own them as freshmen, I make sure the reputation got continued as freshmen. <laughs> So you gotta understand, literally, you're not getting away with this kind of mentality. You beat the fuck out of Chris where he made times two, there's no way fucking around it, literally. Fuck this shit that literally fucking Chris is content. That fucking literally Chris didn't aim for literally something natural, literally. I feel like literally what your brother is fucking criticizing you about when the way you're dressing and how you should have a girl go hand in hand with her wardrobe is fucking natural. I feel like he's really wrong. I feel like literally him, you know, talking literally when he's wearing these sweats and just a black kid is really out of pocket. Well, that's the exact criticism. That's the fucking gang, literally. I can Make a fucking white key and black key stand out because you do too fucking much, literally. <laughs> and on the other hand, my hat is more fucking expensive, really, hence the word Alberto. So, literally, with that being said, literally, Chris is solid, or you know, um, his solid in general is when you learn how to give change and when you learn how to literally, um, properly give change as, uh, older brother who's that black always, you know, encourages literally, um, the younger brother to come with change when it comes to their mom. 
and relearn that change is really why you get a number before you get pulled over by a security guard. And that's what makes things confusing. So because, you know, your brother has a very confusing angle and why, you know, things escalate, you know, when you were popular, and literally what happened throughout other, other years is why this is a difficult part of the process. Because you do have to get to know them, but you definitely just face enough. So literally, so this is where we you know we account literally fucking um what happened to you, literally what happened to the kids who picked on you, literally and put everything you know all together, you know to recognize the outcome, literally. So literally, you're not getting me with Ashley, literally. They tried fooling me, literally with the Ashley when we had the dance and shit, and I automatically um, said, literally, don't touch what's not yours. <laughs> You see, Chris kept me in tune, literally, where it can't be, you know, common sense, and that's why, literally, in terms of feats, in terms of achievements, literally, I surpassed Chris over time, but literally, this is the time when we need to use common sense the most, and that's why, you know, I used to piss them off, or I always used to, you know, drink water and do something at play. Literally, stay inside all day, literally, watch cartoons. The other shit is dangerous. Not Hell no, we're going outside. After they learn how to be hands-on, where it comes to things like fixing a car. So it was a 30 year old version versus, you know, um, common sense. I learned that, you know, a 30 year old version has, you know, um, greater judgment. Not to mention what I know about women and eggs and how the eggs get old, Lily, at a certain age, Lily, at 30. How when my mom had me at 30, I definitely know, Lily, if you wait to 30, when you have kids, Lily, your kids come out with autism. So, Lily, there was no fool me around here. So, definitely, this is how I imitate my brother in the hood, the ultimate Chino.